Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. Now I passed up on Core Class Optimus Prime and Starscream, but I just couldn't say no to this little mini Megatron. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. You got Megatron here in robot mode. Some great artwork as usual right there on top. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Back of the packaging has Megatron in robot mode and tank mode. So now without further ado, Let's get this little Megatron opened up out of his packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Megatron all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with this little pistol that looks awesome. It is very reminiscent of his G1 alt mode. I think that is really, really cool. And, of course, you can put this in Megatron's fist, so now you have him wielding himself. Another thing that's neat about this pistol is with the handle here, it's got a couple different options. You've got the three millimeter peg there at the bottom that transforms or turns into or whatever. It blends into a five millimeter port. So if you have a larger figure like Barricade here, Barricade can wield this pistol as well. It is a tight fit. Once you get it in, there we go. That actually looks really good. I dig it. I love that little pistol. Now, of course, if you don't want Megatron wielding his pistol as a weapon, Megatron has holes here on his back, so you can put the pistol in right here, which gives him his Generation 1 look with the cannon barrel up over his shoulder. Now, taking a closer look at Megatron, this figure looks amazing. I absolutely love that head sculpt. That's one of the best Megatron head sculpts that we've had in a while. And that's on a core class figure, a small figure. And look at the paint applications right there on the abs. You got the blue buttons, the red switch there, the red there along the sides, the details up here. You got the purple Decepticon insignia, the vents on the chest. The paint applications look amazing for this guy. Closer look at the head sculpt. Great paint applications on the eyes as well. This guy looks awesome. Now, as far as articulation goes, Megatron's arms can go up and down. They could do a complete 360, but they're going to hit these really big pylons he has there on his shoulders. And got that one popped out of place. He does have an elbow bend, an elbow rotation, and there is wrist rotation with this wrist right here but that's for transformation later on. He also has a waist rotation. The legs can go out and in, up and back. There is a knee bend and rotation here at the hip and at the knee. 
no ankle tilt whatsoever. So he's pretty well articulate for such a small figure. He does have quite the backpack on him though. So I wish the treads could have folded in a little bit, but it is a core class. What are you gonna ask for? And fortunately, even though he has that real big backpack, it doesn't affect his standing whatsoever. I mean, you can put him in fairly decent poses and he maintains. Of course, he's got these big old feet. So now let's get Megatron transformed into his tank mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove the pistol from his back. Let's go ahead and flip the fusion cannon around and rotate the waist 180. Now, with this wrist right here, you're gonna twist this around. See how it's bringing this little panel up? And you want this panel to cover up the ball joint. So now we've got that covered up. You can turn the head around if you want. It's not necessarily for necessary for transformation. And now you're gonna take this back section and bring it up and over like so. Bring the arms together and bring these sections out. You'll bring the pylons out as well. And you wanna line up to make sure the big hole right there on top of the fusion cannon matches up to the peg on his other arm. You got that real big peg right there. Line those up and squeeze that fusion cannon together. There we go. Now right here, you've got these little tabs that'll line up to the slots there, but right above the wrists. Go ahead and do that on both sides. So now we've got the turret formed. Go ahead and bring the treads up and into position like so. Now with the legs, you take the legs and bring them out like that. And you wanna look for this little tab right here that's gonna line up to, let's see if you can see it. There's a little slot, so you line that up just right. And you gotta squeeze tight on this to get to snap in. There's one. Let's see here, line it up. This one's tighter than the other. Give it a good squeeze. There we go. So those are tabbed in. Now you've got these little tabs here on the side of the front portion of the track. You just line these up with the legs, get everything squeezed together. Now we have the base of the tank formed. Take the pistol and there is a rectangle peg here on the end. That's going to slot right into the barrel of Megatron's fusion cannon. And there you have Megatron in tank mode. And for some reason, this little tank mode reminds me of a World War II tank. So you can kind of see the similarities there. But it's really cool looking and different. I love the details there on the treads. Great paint applications, great detail sculpted all the way around. The turret can actually rotate a complete 360 and the barrel can raise up and down, though the arms are gonna unpeg a little bit, but there you go. Now, unfortunately, he's got the same issue that every Megatron tank has had recently. The feet are sticking out. Why they can't make a Megatron toy with feet that fold into the treads is beyond me. So there you go, guys. There is Megatron in tank mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron with Reveal the Shield Legends Class Megatron, Dollar General Legends Class Megatron, and Thrilling 30 Legends Class Megatron. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron is a great little Megatron figure. I was going to pick this guy up anyway because he is a Megatron, but I was totally blown away with the amount of details that Hasbro put into such a little figure. The paint applications, the sculpting, the G1 homages, this figure just knocks it out of the park. I wish he was bigger. This would figure, I think, would make a great Voyager class. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron belong in your collection? Well, for the Megatron fans, I think you're really going to like this teeny tiny mighty Megatron. 
This figure really blew me away, especially with all the paint applications. I mean, that is amazing for such a small figure. So kudos to Hasbro. You guys knocked it out of the park with this little figure. So yeah, if you're a Megatron fan and you see this guy hanging on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!